Adam the Woo here. I'm just kidding. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. Today's video is inspired by one or two of the probably most famous travel vloggers and I'm talking about Adam the Woo and Justin Scard. I'm sure most of you know who they are. Today we're gonna walk around my beautiful city and I'm gonna show you the filming sites of the Charlie's Angels movie. Welcome to beautiful Hamburg, Germany. It is finally summer here. I am loving it and I got up early today. At the moment, early for me means 10.30 in the morning. And every time I make a video where I show you a little bit of my city, I ask people, do you wanna see more of these videos? And everybody always says, yes. And then I don't do it. But I'm doing it now and for the very first time, I have left my house with my new Sony ZV-1 camera and I'm just trying it out so if it's shaky or if it's out of focus or if the sound is terrible, I'm sorry, I'm still learning. And as always, it's really uncomfortable for me to be walking around filming myself with random people walking past in a situation like this. I don't know how other people do it. They just, I guess they just don't care. It's weird for me. I am standing pretty much in the middle of the city and right next to me is a body of water called the Innen Alster. The Alster Lake is a famous lake right in the middle of Hamburg. Marcus and I are lucky enough to live right over there. Work hard and save your money, kids. And back in 2019, actually, Morgan, it was 2018, the Hollywood blockbuster Charlie's Angels starring Kristen Stewart was filmed partially here in this city. And in the opening credits, one of the first shots of the movie was made right here on this corner where I'm standing and where, of course, they just started doing construction. So check out this opening shot of the movie, the opening titles, where these young women are riding their bikes along a body of water, and that is this body of water right here, the Inn and Ulster. Fun fact, many, many years ago, when Justin Scar didn't even have, I think, 6,000 subscribers, one of his videos showed up in my feed. I watched it and I thought, this guy's going somewhere. He's got something. And I wrote to him just to let him know I think he's doing a good job and I invited him to participate, to collab in a very unofficial travel guide because I was gonna be in California and he never wrote back. That's life. But this area of the city is very easily recognizable in that opening credit shot of the movie. And now let's move on to another very iconic scene in the movie Charlie's Angels. I moved on to the next location and surprise, surprise, it's also a construction area. Coincidence? I don't know, it is kind of weird though. In this scene, the character of Ellie has her secret meeting with the character of Bosley and we can see her riding her bike over a bridge and that is this bridge. She parks her bike next to a cafe and that is this cafe here and you can see that that is the same place because check out here there's like a bar for a sign and I thought that they just removed the sign for the movie but actually you know it's a couple years later and there is no sign there so the actual name of the cafe is the uh, Marine Marina Hof. The inside of the cafe looks totally different now in the movie there was like a bridge of books here and uh, like a second higher level there, which is now gone. They obviously built that just for the movie, but that is where the characters of Bosley and Ella sat, and she had the USB hidden in the newspaper, and then a big fight scene broke out in here, and if you just look around, you can very obviously recognize that a lot of this place, you know, looks just like it does in the movie. Over there in that window is where the bad guy was sitting with his old school typewriter with a mirror built into it so he could see what was happening over here. And these are different tables than were in the movie. I'm sure those were built just for the movie because they were all thrown around and destroyed in the end. This is the window where they were sitting when that whole thing went down and Kristen Stewart's character was across the street like on lookout which would have been up here but you can see that that's not the building where they were. I think that this is the building where they filmed her like looking over the railing 
and I can show you that this is that staircase that she ran down. It's tough to see because of the reflection of the sun, but she runs down this gigantic stairway with a hole in the middle, screaming obscenities the entire time, and I'm pretty sure that this was it, and it's actually not too far from the cafe. At the end of the scene, the character of Ella jumps out the window, which would have been this window, into the car. So they speed off down the street here, and you can definitely recognize this store here. You see the name Multiple Box Hamburg. And there's the street. Kristen Stewart's character comes running much too late past one of these uh, concrete balls and gets left behind as the car speeds away. And she would have been standing right over here. So if you've ever wanted to kiss the ground that Kristen Stewart walked on, there it is. And the next location we're going to be visiting is where a lot of the car scenes were taking place. And that's down in the old warehouse district, which is about a mile that way. By the way, I almost just got totally hit by a car on my bike. <laughs> it was my mistake, but I was turning the corner right over here to come down here and I did not expect a car to be coming in the other direction. And my brake squeaked and the car's brake squeaked and we both gave each other a very surprised look. Welcome down in the warehouse district of Hamburg. It's part of the old harbor and many of the buildings down here are now protected uh, like national landmarks because this area of the city was so important for the trade and the growth of Hamburg at a certain time in its history not too long ago. And actually I've talked about that in another video that you can see linked in the description below. Well, in the movie Charlie's Angels, after a lot of machine gun shots are shot, they end up speeding over this bridge and uh, screeching around the corner here in front of this attraction called Dialogue in Dunkeln, which means like a conversation in the dark. This is a really cool experience that I will never be able to film for you because what it is, is it shows you what it's like to be a person who has no vision. It's a gigantic like walk through attraction and it's completely black as night inside. So it shows you what it's like to try to like cross a street, to try to uh, walk through a park, to try to get through a parking lot, things like that when you have no vision. And I've been there a few times and it's something really, really special. Anyways, the car goes speeding around the corner here and down this alleyway. In the one short moment, you can even see this red elevator structure which they use to pull things up and down to get into these loading doors here. You can see up there is the crane. You don't see that in the movie, but I'm just showing you that you can see in the movie very clearly. Like all good Hollywood car chases, it ends with a crash and an explosion and somebody dying. And in the movie, they edit it to make it look like at the end of that alleyway is where the crash happens. But actually, we're about probably a good three quarters of a mile away down in the newer part of the warehouse district. The area that's closer to the city is the historically protected area and the area that's closer to the river. They tore it all down and built a whole bunch of modern buildings. And if you look just across here, you'll see this is the stairway where the crash happens. Of course, during filming, this Soita Dion ship was not there. And you can also see Hamburg is on the Elbe River. That's This water is from the Elbe River, or the River Elbe, and it empties out into the sea, and it is highly affected by the tides. So during shooting, they waited for high tide, obviously, because the water is much higher on the wall over there. And right now we're, I think, in between low and high tides, but it just gives you an idea of how far the water goes up and down here, even though it's a river. The bad guy smashes into the side of Bosley's car, pushes it down these stairs, and it flips over this railing 
and lands in the water down there. And you can see when Ella goes flying out the back of the vehicle, they actually used the buildings that are directly across from it as the background. A lot of times they change that up, but this time they really did it. So those are the buildings that were in the back. And if I turn around, these are the stairs where they came crashing down. After the car crash, Kristen Stewart's character arrives much too late, comes racing down that ramp there on her motorcycle, through that crane, comes down here, and right over here is where she knocks the bad guy off his feet and you can recognize this sign here and those buildings in the background. A short fight ensues and he manages to get away and his vehicle is still standing, it's still like parked right here. You can recognize this corner in the background. He picks up a remote control, presses a button and it explodes right there sending Kristen Stewart crashing to the ground around here. So once again, if you want to kiss the ground that Kristen Stewart walked on, Here's your place. They of course have a much different lens than I do on this camera, but he's basically like this. And then you can see Kristen Stewart in the background pointing a gun at him and then the car, which was right there, goes boom. And then he goes strolling off in that direction. One of the most iconic filming locations in the movie was the headquarters for the bad guys, Brock Industries. And that was actually filmed here at our uh, very famous Philharmonic Hall. Famous and controversial because it was built with taxpayer dollars and it went billions of dollars over budget. Billions. That's my money there. So if you're noticing a difference in sound or picture quality at the moment, it's because the battery in my Sony died already. And now I'm filming with my iPhone again, which feels so much more comfortable to me. So I'm so much more practiced in filming with this. So the character of, I think it's Ella, checks in here to get into the building. And you can see across from here in the background, this is actually the building that you can see when she's walking through the turnstiles. And then just a little insider secret as far as how close some of the locations are to one another. This right here is the ramp that Kristen Stewart's character drove down on the motorcycle and right over there is where the car crash happened with the vehicle that flipped over into the water. And in the end of the scene that takes place inside this building, you can see her look back out the window as they're driving away. And you can clearly recognize this shot and this building over here too. And uh, another insider information just across from here is Steinway and Sons where you can buy a really expensive piano. Stopped to get a nice little lunch on my way back home. And there's a very loud baby right over there. Like I said, now that I'm filming with my telephone again, it just feels so much better. I don't know if that's because I just need to get used to filming with the Sony or if it's just that filming with an iPhone is better. I mean, this is how I've been doing it for like 10 years now. So I'm trying to decide if I really need the extra camera or if I should send that back and just upgrade to a newer phone. Exactly, exactly. And check out this toast I got. Holy crap. So this is like artisan bread and then it's got salad and avocado and that's goat cream cheese and then some cherry tomatoes, and then whatever that is on top. Wow. 
This is not a snack. Do you see how big that is? I mean, look at that. This is gonna fall all over the place when I cut it open and the plate's only this wide. Oh well, like I was saying, I don't know if I just need to get used to using the Sony or if I should just use the Sony. I mean, one thing that that's gonna be really good for is when there's low light. So, you know, filming things at night or when it's a little bit darker, that will be definitely better than the iPhone. But it's just, I don't know. I just definitely need to get used to it. I thank you for watching this video and bearing with me as I try out the new camera and try this style of video. I hope that you enjoyed walking around the morning of the city with me. Oh, I told you we started at 10.30, right? And it's now 1.30. So that didn't take too long. Remember, writing any kind of comment and pressing thumbs up is something you can do on every video to help support. And if you want to give a little bit more, check out patreon.com slash very unofficial or my Amazon store, which is linked below. Below. See you soon.